So as many of you know, the country has flipped the script on homeownership. Obviously our record high was back in 2005 when Oprah was giving out houses like Tic Tacs. You get a look. You get a look. You get a look. We all get a look. The homeownership rate then was almost 70%. Fast forward to today's overregulated, everyone's afraid to give a loan era, and the home ownership rate is down to 64%. 64% is crazy low, and you'd have to go back to 1995 to see levels that low. 1995, that's the year of the internet and Belle Bib DeVoe. Miss her, kiss her, love her. You did. That girl is awesome. I mean, seriously, we'd have to go back to the days of AOL offering service to the internet to see levels that low. Gangster's Paradise and TLC's Waterfalls were number one and number two. That was when Madonna was still Madonna and men singing love ballads was actually a thing. Thank you very much, All For One and Boys To Men. I mean, American Gladiators was the number one TV show. That's how far we have to go back. Always wanted to shoot that tennis ball gun thing. It was so cool. Sorry, I digress. Well, really, the homeownership rate digresses. Nevertheless, you get the point. As you can see, the transformation into the rental nation is nearly complete. However, it's our job to educate and inform, and here, my friends and esteemed colleagues, is a consequence of what just happened. American net worth is way down and may continue downward if we don't help some of these folks see the light. See, for most Americans, housing is like a forced savings account. We all know that Americans are horrible savers and we are completely addicted to debt. Have a BK, close that baby out and go buy new cars and boats and clothes and shoes. I mean, why would we learn from our mistakes? That's just silly. Have a dollar in your pocket? Spend it. Why save it? It's so much more fun to go buy that sorely needed oversized cowboy hat that you'll only wear once. Here, I'm gonna go to the store. Yeah. Okay, just get the bare essentials. This is the last of our dough. Hey, what do I look like? You get the point, we are bad savers, but housing forces us to save and this is why the net worth between renters and homeowners is so great. Right now, homeowner net worth is 36 times greater than that of the renters. 36 times! That's not even close. That's like last year's Super Bowl. Go Hawks! Now to be fair, it does vary depending on how much you make. Take a look. For those of you that make fifty to eighty thousand dollars a year, renters' net worth is about twenty-five grand, and homeowners is almost two hundred thousand dollars. Folks that make eighty grand a year and up, the divide is even bigger. Renters' net worth is eighty-seven thousand dollars, and homeowners is almost a half a million dollars. Now, sure, some of this net worth is locked up in the home itself in the form of equity, but I would rather have it locked up in equity than not to have it at all. Now, another factor is rents and renters are on the rise, which will only help to exaggerate these already horribly skewed numbers. Now, if there are only a large group of professionals that could help get the word out. Oh, that's right. NAR still has over a million members. Maybe we can start there. And maybe the loan originators and the title folks can help out as well. Let's do this. For today's show, so they can get a little nostalgic before the reality hits them right between the eyes, and or post some of the infographics below. Now, I don't know if these are really infographics per se, but just tweet them or Insta Snapchat them or something. Let's get the word out and start to reverse this trend. Now, before we leave, my good friend Jonathan, who happens to be one of, if not the top realtor in Washington state, recently lost a ton of weight, which is very cool, and I'm extremely proud of him for that. Well, skinny Jonathan challenged Chubby Ryan to race. Your host gladly accepted and quickly became the underdog. We went old school and met out back like we were on the playground and got our race on. Well, Jonathan had tons of supporters while little old gray-haired Ryan had a few strong but loyal supporters. Losers wear the other team's jersey and delivers donuts to the other's office. Here's the results. Enjoy. <laughs>